Next, we're going to remove the bulk of the stock from our part. For that, we're going to use Turning Profile. Turning Profile is a toolpath used to remove large amounts of material from the outside diameter or inside diameter of the part. It's also the toolpath you use for finishing the outside diameter or inside diameter. It allows you to specify the step per cut, stock amounts, cut direction, starting position, and cut extensions. On the cam toolbar, you can simply select the turning profile icon. For our tool, we will use the same tool we used for facing the part. CNM style diamond inserts are very common for roughing material off of a lathe part. The default settings will work fine for our part, but some things are worth noting. Turning mode is where you tell Fusion that we will be machining the outside of the part. Direction allows you to set the cut direction, normally front to back. So it already knows that we're outside profiling and we're cutting front to back. Let's go to our next tab for geometry. Again, we really have nothing to select for geometry because it knows where the stock is and it knows what the part looks like. Something I recommend to people is really to just go in, pick your tool, and say, OK. That way, at least you get a toolpath created right away. Now you can look at it and decide if you need to make changes. In this case, there are a few changes that I want to make. So on the Profile toolpath, let's right-click our mouse and select Edit. In here, we're going to go to the Passes tab. Here on the Passes tab, we can tell it whether we're taking finishing passes or roughing passes or both. Typically, you would create a roughing toolpath and then with a different tool, you would create a finishing toolpath. But that's entirely up to you. The main thing I want to look at in here is that we're set for roughing passes and that my roughing pass is set to 2 millimeters. We also have an overlap value, so when it's stepping off of the cut, it will overlap the previous cut by 1 millimeter. For the finishing passes, you can also set the number of stepovers and the stepover amount. For tougher materials, it might be useful to check Repeat finishing passes. This will create additional cuts with zero stock, also referred to as a spring cut. You also have the option to only create forward direction cuts using the No Dragging checkbox. This type of toolpath will always produce a positive cut direction, meaning that it will always be pressing the insert in towards the holder rather than dragging the insert backwards. This option can increase tool life. On the linking tab, we can control how the tool will move from one cut to the next. It also controls how the tool will lead in and lead out of the cut. Here we have our lead in length value set to 2 millimeters with a 45 degree lead out. And our lead outs and lead ins are set to be the same values. Let's OK this again. So now we can see that we have fewer cuts because we're taking a 2 millimeter step over.